Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Mr. Aiden. Today I've got a new New Blood deck opening for you, and this time the clan is Clan Ventru. So these are sort of the leaders of the Camarilla. Their disciplines revolve around sort of controlling people and sort of staying. Well, they're, they're, they're very tough, if that makes sense. So they come with fortitude, presence, and dominate. So on the back here, you've got its little handy quick reference guide for you. So it covers the turn sequence, um, what the symbols for the disciplines are, the clans that are available, and just some other things. And then just gives you your voting. And then link here to the rule book. So in this deck, we have got six vampires. So for your crypt, and then your library is 48 cards. So this is basically, it's a beginner deck, hence the reason it's called New Blood. So if you want to get into vampire, the channel struggling, and you're not sure, whether you want to play it, it's a cheaper way of getting into it. More importantly, the decks are slightly easier to use and they will actually give you an idea and an overall feel of how Clan Ventru play. So I say we've got six vampires here and then we've got 48 library cards. So I'll just put the library cards to one side and we'll start with the vampires in the crypt. So all the vampires, all the cards, sorry, I should say, have this symbol here and that is just the new blood symbol. In the main decks, they will have normally the Camarilla, um, or whether they're Sabat, or whether the Anarch, that symbol will be there. Here's the symbol for the Venturi, and then the Discipline's down here, and then they might have some text. And this number here is the Blood Pool, and the sort of the age and the power of the Vampire. So it runs from 1 to 10, actually there are a few 11s from a promo point of view. And all these decks can be merged in with the main deck, so it will just allow you to have more cards. So let's see what we've got. So we've got Alexa Draper here. So main disciplines here, Fortitude, um, Dominate and Presence. So these are clan disciplines. And then we've got a bonus discipline here, which is Potence. So she, she is the Camera of Prince of Melbourne. During the polling step of any referendum, Alexa can discard a card requiring dominate and get plus one vote. So yeah, one of the overall themes of the Ventru is it's because they they are sort of in charge of the camera. We should see voting and ability to sort of control other vampires. So we've got Alice here. She has got all three of the clan disciplines and she, the bonus one she's got is Obsificate. So she's a seven and she does have the Prince title. So standard vampire here, so six, Amelia Locke. Uh, and her extra discipline she's got here is Celerity. Kevin Jackson, so another prince, so some more voting. He gets plus one strength in combat with a Brujar. And Brujar get plus one strength for him. So standard vampires come with one strength, so that's one hand-to-hand -hand damage. So he's going to get two fighting against Brujar, but Brujar are also going to equally fight back against him as hard. Madison, six cost, all three disciplines here, nothing extra, but all of them at the superior. And then we've got Naomi, who's a five, and she's got, all th again, all three clan disciplines, but she's only got uh, the basic level of dominate. So those are the six vampires. So let's just have a look at the library. So cards here are divided into things like there'll be MasterCard, There'll be other symbols, so there'll be an action, ally, or whatever. I, I'm, I'm going to assume you know the game rules, um, so I'm not going to explain the game rules. But this is the Master Card Blood Doll. So you play this card onto a vampire during the master phase, so you can do it in the round that this card is actually played. You can move either one blood from the vampire to your pool, or one from your pool back to your vampire. This is a handy way of generating more blood into your pool, because you can then go and just hunt with that vampire. So we've got a couple of those. Conditioning which is a modifier, so this plays after you play an action. And you are going to need the Dominate ability, and it's going to cost the Vampire that plays it one blood. Only usable during a bleed action, so if they've got the basic Dominate, you can do it at plus two bleed, and if they've got superior, plus three bleed. So you're going to be able to hit someone for four, which is going to be good. So one, two, three, four of those. So Daring the Dawn, which is a modifier, and you're going to need Fortitude. So the basic ability, the vampire cannot block this action. This vampire takes two unpreventable environmental aggravated damage. That's nasty. So you, aggravated damage always puts the person you're hitting. If the damage stays, it's, it immediately ends torpor as above, but the vampire takes one unpreventable environmental aggravated damage. So that's, so you're going to be actually get an action through and you're going to 
take some a, a damage yourself or if you've got superior you're only going to take one damage so you know it, it's not going to kill you it's going to end your turn and then the next turn you're going to have to use your action to come out of torpor deflection reaction so reactions are played on your opponent's turns and you're going to need dominate to play this and it's going to cost your vampire one blood off him only usable if a minion is bleeding you after blocks are declined so if you decide not to block so you can lock a reacting vampire so that's their uh sorry your vampire that you're you're going to react with change the target the bleed to another method loser other than the acting minions controller so you're going to be able to move that bleed action onto another method loser and if you've got superior as above but you're not even going to have to lock your vampire so we've got a few of those one two three four of those that's going to be really handy dominate master card so this is a discipline card so you put this vampire, put this onto a vampire that you control, it gets plus one level in dominate and plus one blood capacity. You can have to hunt to go and get that extra blood, but you obviously you can't play this on one that's already got superior, but you can take a vampire that hasn't got dominate and give it dominate, or you can increase your basic level of dominate up until the superior. Dominate kind, to an action, and you're, oh, it's, gonna, it's a bit expensive, it's going to cost you two blood. But it's a plus one stealth action, so you can bleed with plus one. Or you can actually, as a directed action, you can try and steal a location. I like these cards because it just gives you two different things to do with them. Uh, one, two, two of those. Enchant Kindred. It's a presence um, discipline. So plus one bleed, so you can bleed with plus one. Or a plus one stealth action. Add two blood to a younger vampire in your control using. Again, another thing that you can do. So you can either go and bleed... Uh, one of the other method losers, or you can actually put some additional blood onto the vamp on a vampire to get another one out sooner. So one, two, three, four. Fifth tradition, hospitality is an action. Plus one stealth action requires a prince or a just a car. So let's have a quick look how many princes they get. One, two, three. So they gave us three princes, no just a car. So you've got 50% chance that you're going to be able to get this off. Add four blood to another vampire. It's going to cost you one, but help heal up another vampire. Fourth tradition, accounting, plus one stealth action. So again, it's going to be easier to get through. Requires requires a prince or just a car. Add three blood to a younger vampire in your own control region. So this one's going to help you heal vampires that you've got out. And this one is going to help you bring other vampires out quicker. Freak drive, which is a fortitude discipline. Again, another one blood. I can see why you've got that one card to add a bit more. Only reusable after action resolution. So this is a modifier. Only usable if the action was successful. Unlock this vampire. So that's, if you get your action through, you can unlock the vampire. And only usable if the action was blocked. Unlock this vampire. So if the action is blocked, so that's quite handy actually. Because it's allowing you to do an extra action for your vampire. Uh, three, four, five of those. Life in the City, the MasterCard Trifle. Trifle cards are slightly different to master cards, so you can only play one master card in your master phase. However, trifle allows you to play two, so it's one extra in your master phase. So add a blood to a ready vampire. One, two of those. Majesty. Uh, it's going to cost you one blood, and it's a combat card. Strike, combat ends. So this just allows you to end the combat instantly, as above, and unlock the vampire before the combat ends. So that means... As your vampire was locked, you can actually unlock them and again, do either block, um, do another action with your vampire or it allows you to react to something else if you played this in your opponent's turn. Two, three, four, five, six. So what's saying about these decks being simpler? There's saying in the full decks, you've got 77 cards and in this deck, so you've got 48, but you've got several copies of it. So you can just learn how to play the deck a lot easier. Mind numb as an action. So it's direct action. So you play this onto a, attack a metal loser and no one else can block it other than them. So the basic action, put this card on an unlocked vampire and lock them. So you're going to stop uh, your opponent doing something, I'm guessing. The attached vampire does not unlock as normal. Burn this card during your unlock phase. Wow. So you're going to stop your opponent from actually doing something, which is well, just locking a vampire out of the game. And if you've got superior, you can do it at plus one stealth. Two of those. Uh, misdirections a master it's going to cost you one out of your main pool here uh, but you can lock a minion so minions being allies or vampires in this game political ally so we've got this is an action 
and it's a recruit action, so it's going to allow you to play a ally. So this is going to be a, just what I was just saying about this card, so this is going to give you a separate minion to control that will have its own thing. So it's unique mortal with one life, zero strength, and plus three breeds. So it's not going to be good in combat, but it's going to be great for bleeding your opponent. And so it's going to cost you two out of your pool. Restoration as an action. So you're going to need fortitude, plus one stealth action. So again, easier to get through. This vampire gains plus two blood. This vampire gains plus three blood at superior. Second tradition, domain. Requires a prince or just a car. Plus two intercept. So this is reaction. So you're going to play this as your opponent is playing the card, normally against you. But obviously you could stop them from doing something if you wanted to. Um, so they said, let, let one put through a vote or play a, a minion out. Uh, also usable um, by a lock prince or just a card, even if intercept is not needed. Uh, you can burn one blood to lock and attempt to block with plus two intercepts. So this is going to really help you stop your opponents from doing something. Just give me that extra level of control. So one, two of those. Seduction, which is a dominate ability, unusable as an action is announced. So you're going to modify your action. Choose a younger vampire. So a younger vampire is a vampire with less number here than the one that you're using for the action. Uh, choose young vampire. Choose, uh, the chosen vampire cannot block this action, uh, as above. But choose choose any vampire. Okay, so that's pretty handy at superior. So you can do it with anyone. Slaughter in the herd as an action. It is a dominate ability. Uh, so it's directed action at a metal loser. Bleed with plus two bleed. Allies cannot block this. Handy. Okay, put this card on a vampire controlled by your predator. So that's the guy to your right. Uh, each time the attached vampire announce an action, they move one blood from themselves to the acting vampire. The attached vampire can burn four blood during their minion phase to burn this card. Burn this card after the action vampire leaves the ready region. That's just going to hold up your vamp, uh, your you know, from them actually attacking you because your predators. Their role is to take you out of the game. Sadly, only one of those, but I'm sure your predator will be happy. It says combat card requiring fortitude. A vampire can play only one soak each round. Prevent two non-aggravated damage or prevent four non-aggravated damage. Two of those. Social charm as an action. So two different abilities here. So you've got plus one bleed as direct action as above, but gain one pull if the bleed is successful. Okay, so that's going to... You can take one off your um, prey and then actually add one blood to your main pull one two uh wake with evening's freshness as a reaction only usable by a locked vampire do not replace until your locked phase so this vampire wakes so you can unlock them to react to something your opponent's doing and just allows you then to they're going to think you can't do anything and it's just going to allow you to do something with them so that is the deck that's what i think strange in here as Clan Ventru is there is not a single political card in there. So either the ability to create a vote or more importantly to help block other votes going through. That's it's it's quite a combat heavy. It's 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 more combat heavy than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be a lot more political. Um but let me know what you think in the comments below to that. It still looks like a good deck. I'm just not convinced it's as ventrue as I was expecting it to be. But so, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm building on this channel, please do subscribe to the channel. My name's Mr. Aid, and this is the New Blood Ventrue deck. Thank you for watching.